Right, just a quick um, video. Um, I've been setting up the Techno Parrot emulator and its games in RAW, where it's ROMs and wheel settings and all that. I've um, configured most of the games. Wait, all of the games I've configured. There's a little issue with um, Operation Ghost. It doesn't go into full screen. Um, I might just end up removing that till I can fix it. And there's also, um, at the moment, an issue with House of the Dead 4, which it will keep me configuration outside of hyperspin for pressing start, but when it comes to loading it up in hyperspin, the start button's not working. So I don't know what that is, if it's um, an expert profile, I'm not recognizing it. Um, I've set up all the uh, shooting games with the mouse, um, so that should be ready for the aim track guns. Um, then I will just configure the shoot buttons and stuff like that for it. I'll set the, them shoot buttons to a mouse. As for the rest of the games, all loading straight off the bat file I created for each game. Loading complete. Um, that would direct from the direct to Techno Parrot, then a direct to the name of the profile. Um, I will be uploading this onto the Google Drive, um, the settings, and but I won't have enough space on there for the ROMs. So I've done another video directing you to the website for the ROMs. Um, there is another website that hosts the all the games and everything on there is um, one of the Techno Parrot blog pages. Um, it's got links and all that to the games themselves. Um, if a customer wishes for an upgrade to this, they can send a drive back to us with also selling these at the moment the eight terabyte um hyperspin drives with the new updated techno parrot i just have to get to the shop um and then set this up with the arcade controls configure them all with that i have a couple of other systems that i've added and um, that i'll be setting also up with that um as for Mario Kart Arcade GPDX, Loading I will complete. be adding that to Triforce. Um, it's a lot better version of the game, this Mario Kart G GP Arcade GPDX. It's a lot better version than the one that comes currently working with the Wii um, emulator. So that will be getting set up for on that system linked to this, to Techno Parrot. Um, it's a lot more colourful this version and stuff plays a lot better so I'll exit that I'll end the video in a second um, we still have the offers on on the custom arcade builds stand ups 8 terabyte, 3 terabyte with the free GTX 1060 GPU the pinball side buttons and the um, frontal amp on the bar tops so you get them upgrades all free, um, allowing you to play them a bit more intensive PC games. Um, we've added new PC fighting titles. Um, we've added a Need for Speed collection, PC and console. Added a Tekken collection, um, all the Tekken games. I don't have 320 systems like most 8 terabyte drives is because I've dumbed it down, got rid of most of the crap. Um, a lot of this stuff is just, you find out it's just repeats of MIM. Um, the games that's already on there. So I've dumbed it down to about half. Um, I've also, I also removed, when I compiled this drive, I removed all the current systems I had on there the 320 of the crap and then I dumbed it down to all the perfectly working systems then I went through adding and configuration configuring each system 
correctly with the XRK controls. Make sure what loads in and loads out, exits. Make sure we don't have to use a keyboard to enter games and exit games and stuff like that. So it's all done by the controls. Um, some games, PC games, you've got to exit at the main menu um, of that game. But other than that, it's all configured. So I'll end this and get the boy to school and is just i'll hit put the links below where you can get me products and stuff and i'll also put a link to the google drive the settings my settings and me hyperspin settings and stuff so right bye